Excel Module 4 Textbook Project Working with Charts. Go ahead and open your start file. When we're working with charts, the first thing you need to do is plan a chart, determine the purpose of the chart, identify the data that you will need to be included in the chart, determine what type of results you would like, and then how you would like to illustrate your results, and then um, enhancements, which are chart elements. So the first thing you need to do is enable the editing. And if you notice, this is JCL Talent, and it's for the four quarters, so it'll be the, the full year's expenses broken down into quarterlies. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select a range from A4 all the way to E12. Remember, we're not taking any totals, whether it's column F or row 13. So just the um, locations and the quarters, not the totals, because that would um, be very um, if you were to include the totals, of course, those would be the high columns. So you just want to include the actual quarters. So with the section selected, you get that quick analysis uh, option at the bottom of the right corner. So go ahead and click that. We've used this before when we were doing totals, where we we're doing sums um, underneath or for a row or sums to the right, which would be a column. We're going to go into, we also used it for um, formatting with data bars and icon sets. We're going to use it this time for charts and we're going to select clustered column and you get a little preview above. Don't worry that the chart is in front of your data. We'll be moving it later. To know that the chart is selected, it has the um, circle box around it. If I were to just click away from it, uh, it would not, no longer be um, the active object. So I'm going to click it so that it is active. And if you look down at the bottom, um, it's the axis bar the horizontal axis bar is showing the locations and then the color quote coding is the legend which are the quarters but maybe you'd want to switch it so that the quarters would be the four quarters and the legend would be the the cities the locations all you have to do is click switch row column and now it's showing the locations as the legend and it's broken down for the quarters so when you look at a chart compared to the data, it, it takes time to find out in what which quarter and in what which city was the highest um, office expenses. So you'd have to take your time and go th down through each one to find the highest amount. But when you look at a chart, visually you can see right away it was quarter three with the Philadelphia. So it's a lot easier to visualize and see results. And then again, you can see the smallest um, expenses was in quarter one, and that was with Houston. So it's a lot easier to read visually a clustered column than it is to, to um, read the data. So if we want to switch it back, we could click switch row column again, or you could also click undo. So you go back to the um, original um, chart. Then click the title. Now what happens is you don't have to select the actual words chart title. Just know that you've selected it because it's got the box and the little circles around it that are in blue. As soon as you start typing, it's not going to appear in the chart title. It actually appears in the formula bar. And then you just continue typing it. And then once you press enter, it'll go in place of chart title. You could have selected the words chart title and typed it in there in the box itself, or you could do it manually. To move the chart, make sure it's selected. So I'll just go away from it. It's no longer selected, so you have to click it to select it. And when you move, you have to make sure you're in an empty space in the chart and you have the four arrows. And then you just hold with the left mouse and drag. And when we're going is actually um, to A16. And then you can see that you're on A16. And then we are going to 
increase it to column G. So I'm going to use the moving size handles and increase it to G. The next thing we're going to do is change the layout. And in, in the ribbon for chart design, there is a quick layout. When you select that, there are um, 11 different layouts. And as you hover over each one, your um, chart will demonstrate how it will appear. And some of them change where they have uh, axes, titles, and um, some of them have the data at the bottom. We're going to go with layout one. And then we're going to select the legend that is on the right side. When you select the legend, we're going to move it down. And in order to move it down, you're going to hold and drag. Now, if you move it down, you could change the size of it horizontally. We just want to move it vertically. So if you hold shift as you scroll down, and again, make sure you have the four arrows, it holds the position horizontally and you're just moving it down vertically. Then we'll click in A7 and then type Miami and press enter and if you notice it changed it on the bottom so I'm just going to undo to show you right now it's Miami Beach I'm going to redo I changed it to Miami and it changed it automatically in the chart with the chart selected choose chart design and then we're actually going to move it to its own sheet so select move chart then select new sheet and instead of it being called chart 1 you'll type column and then click OK and it gets moved to its own sheet and it's called column. So take a, a peek at what the column Boston looks like. And we're going to back, go back to the US data sheet and we'll select D11 and we're going to type in a new amount 4775.2 and then press enter. I don't have to type the zero because it'll automatically put it in for me. And then when we go back to the column sheet, you'll see that Boston readjusted um, to match what you just filled in with the data. With the chart selected, we're going to go back to chart design and go into quick layout and then select layout three. And just to show you, it separates the bars, the custard column bars. And I think that was about it. And it puts the legend on the bottom rather instead of on the right hand side. Then click undo. So we go back to our original. And then we'll select change chart type. And then select bar. And make sure it's the custom bar, clustered bar, and it is and we want the one that's on the right hand side and then click OK. Select the change chart type and then select the one on the left and OK and then select um, change chart type again and this time we're going to choose 3D and 3D is located 3D stacked bar. So instead of bar, make sure you choose column and then we'll select the 3D clustered column. So make sure you change the recommended charts, all charts, so that it's column versus bar. And the fourth one is the 3D clustered column. And then go ahead and click OK. So we've changed it again. Then we're going to go back to the change chart type and this time we'll s select the first one. So we're leaving the 3D and then just selecting clustered column. So we're going back to our original and OK. And then up in chart styles we'll select chart style 3. And then of course we'll undo. 
With the chart selected, you get three buttons on the right hand side. And the first one is called chart elements. So these features that show up in the chart elements are also up here in call in a, the ribbon called add chart element. This is just a quick reference right here, but it's all the same items. So if I were to go here, it's all the same. So in here, go to grid lines. And then when you click it, there's arrows to the far right, and then there's usually more options. So right now it's coming up primary, major, horizontal, and that's the lines that are going across in the worksheet. So if you uncheck it, it takes them off. Then we'll click axes titles and you get one on the vertical, which is the Y axis. And there's also one on the X axis. And then you can click the chart element bu button again to close it. And then with the vertical axis right now, it is already selected again, just start typing and it appears in the formula bar and then check mark and then click the X axis. And the, this one will be US offices. And again, check mark. Select switch row column so that underneath on the X axis, the horizontal axis, are the, the cities. And then if you click one, it selects all of them. And then we'll go to the home ribbon and into the font type. And they're looking for Latin. So we're changing the font and I was using the font group, but instead they want us to right click and choose font from the shortcut menu. And then in the Latin text font, click the down arrow and you're looking for Times New Roman and select that. And then change the size to 12. and OK. So the new changes that we just made to the um, the horizontal axis, we also want the same font to be changed to the vertical axis. So just click the format painter and then just click the Y axis and it, it changes them to Times New Roman 12. And then we'll right click on the chart title and we'll choose format chart title and we'll select border solid line and then we'll go to text effects so we'll go to um, shadow In the effects button, the very first one is shadow. Under presets, you'll select offset bottom right. And then to close this, go ahead and click the X and it'll close the format data window. And then we'll add a data table. So click your chart elements and select data table and it puts it underneath the chart. And then we'll take the legend off so we don't have it over here on the right hand side. So unchecking it, we'll take it off. So go ahead and save and we're going to continue with part two.